Kosase has for the past session been grilling Uganda Bureau of Standards over losses amounting to 19.2 billion Uganda shillings, as well as questionable contracts to pre-import certification companies, Intertech, Bureau Veritas, among others. In effect, UNBS Executive Director confirming a 100 million bribe to the board for a job retainer. The confession has today been rendered questionable by the ED saying such was made out of anger and an honesty between him and the board. The ED said you had wanted to say something as we wrap up. Let's hear you. Uh, thank you, Chairman and committee members. Uh, again, out of context, so the issue of offering my chairman 100 million for protection uh, as reported uh, i want to withdraw it formally uh, because i know that it was recorded but uh, i want to confirm that it was out of the environment we're operating high tempers high animosity uh, so it was really not intended uh, to harm anybody so uh, that's the statement i wish to make chairman but uh, we are now good friends yeah, and after a year, we are going to share a, a cup of coffee. <laughs> Chair. This, this is interesting. Chair, just, uh, a, just a second. Chair, before you come in. Just a second. I, <laughs> I, I find this interesting. Um, of course, people have a right to say whatever it is that they would like to say. Uh, what's important is we have a statement on record. There is evidence of messages, WhatsApp messages, and so on. Um, there's an investigation going on by police. Now the IGG, I'm hoping this is not to say, let me retract, because police is now investigating, IGG is investigating, and that kind of thing. In response to the latest confession, the committee chairperson Joel Senyonyi confirmed that investigations by the IGG will pursue as the authority executive director maintains having handed out cash to a board member to leverage his job following recommendations to be terminated by the IGG. Let police do its investigation. Let IGG do her investigation. The committee is carrying out its investigation and we shall have a report on all of these different things. Yeah, so... I, I don't want to say to you that now, by you withdrawing a statement, it has erased everything that happened and all that was said and all that was tabled. Yeah, but uh, there you are. I realized that uh, one of the statements I made during the Halle days of uh, our exchange was really over-publicized when uh, we were both attacking, uh, both sides attacking, so I wanted to take this opportunity to inform you, Chair, and members that uh, a, that exchange has ended in um, reconciliation or harmony. We, we keep saying UNBS is a critical institution. Our concern is not just the financial losses, the misappropriations, the bribery allegations, and so on. Our bigger concern is that you people are in charge of quality control of the commodities which we consume. We don't have, as ordinary consumers, we don't have capacity to tell this commodity I'm buying, you know, is it certified? Is it the, we cannot test. It is you people meant to do that. So when you don't seem to be orderly, when there's all this chaos, we are thinking, <laughs> what standards are you keeping? The unfolding events are simply confirming big cracks pertaining competency, integrity and transparency within the standards body despite the country's dire position on market standards. Benson Mumbai Smart 24 TV Business Today.